FESCO, the Fedora Engineering Steering Committee, which handles the processing of new features and additions of packages for the Fedora distribution, has closed and rejected the change proposal for making UEFI BIOS a hardware requirement for the new Fedora installations, which would have started as soon as Fedora Linux 37. This is some interesting and great news coming out of Fedora, at least for those of us who still have older computers that use MBR legacy BIOS to boot and still need that support, but don't get too comfortable. You should still probably be searching for another future distribution since ultimately it seems that Fedora's goal is to get rid of MBR legacy BIOS support and offer only support to UEFI. So basically the proposal here said to make UEFI a hardware requirement for new Fedora installations on platforms that support it, such as x86 64-bit. Legacy BIOS support is not removed, but new non-UEFI installations is not supported on. That just means you wouldn't be able to install newer Fedora Linux distributions without UEFI. And this would just be a first step towards eventually removing legacy BIOS support entirely. So this actually got rejected around 21 hours ago by Churchyard and it was opened about 20 days ago by B. Cotton. For those of us that don't know, UEFI is a modern-based BIOS, which is just the firmware that resigns on the motherboard, helps your computer start up, it also confirms that hardware is functioning properly, and helps point to various operating systems so you can boot into them. And UEFI definitely has its advantages. One big advantage is there's some secure booting support with UEFI, helping make sure you're booting into a non-malicious operating system, as well as the big one being larger storage devices are supported. I believe there's a limit on legacy BIOS or MBR that you actually can't boot into any that is over 2.2 terabytes, which with modern storage devices isn't all that crazy. So change proposal, let's look at what the change proposal said. So we already read the summary. Let's look at this detailed description. But before we do, are you ready to start learning about Linux today? Check out my Linux checklist and cheat sheet at learn.savvynick.com. There's a link below. So here's some more reasoning on why they wanted to do this. It says UEFI is defined by version standard that can be tested and certified against. By contrast, every legacy BIOS is unique. Legacy BIOS is widely considered deprecated by Intel, AMD, Microsoft, and Apple and is on its way out. As it ages, maintainability has decreased and the status quo of maintaining both stacks is in perpetuity is not viable for those currently doing that work. Basically, what they're saying is they have these two branches, UEFI and Legacy, and it's getting harder for the maintainers to maintain both branches of the development. When it's all said and done, the biggest reasoning here is just to make life easier on the developers and maintainers of Fedora, which makes sense, and especially because almost all modern computers are UEFI-based at this point and is the new standard of BIOS. It improves on some of the limitations of MBR-based BIOS, as we discussed before, you gain support like secure boot, larger hard disk storage support, fast boot, a more modern GUI to interact with, and you can even use your mouse in some. So really the biggest reason for them not actually accepting this change request is the various feedback that they got from the community. And the last thing I wanna talk about is the feedback. Fedora listened to its community in that it was too early to make this change. Of course, in the future, we can expect them to still push forward and make this change. But for now, we still have that legacy support. There was definitely some pushback from the community, mainly boiling down to it was just too soon. This conversation has come up multiple times in the past. I believe this discussion first started in around 2020 and will remain a hot topic for quite a while. Personally, Fedora is one of my favorite Linux distributions since it keeps up with the latest and greatest in development and is simple and minimal to use. The contingency plan here is to leave things as they are, code continues to rock, community assistance is required to continue the status quo, current owners plan to orphan some of the package regardless of whether this proposal is accepted, So, and the mechanism here is just delay until the next release. So know that this is going to be a topic, release after release, and if you have computers where you're running Fedora and you have legacy BIOS, start thinking about an alternative solution, and let me know what you think in the comment section below. If you haven't already, like the video, Subscribe below and hit that notification bell for more Linux and programming videos. Catch me in a great community on Discord and I'll catch you in another video. Thanks for watching.